What is up, everybody? This is RBT bringing you my, well, the week two sim results of NCAA Football 13 for the current college football season. Uh, just like last week, I'm going to show you all the results of the games. And it's, like I said, it's, it's pretty cool to compare them to what happens in real life. So if you want to go uh, compare to what Go compare this series for week one to what really happened in week one. Go watch the week one sim results, and that'll be really interesting to compare. Um, so I'm just gonna I have I'm playing at we'll have the dynasty as Alabama just because they're my favorite team. Let's go look at the week two results and let's get right into it. Alabama beat Western Kentucky 34 to nothing. Uh, Pittsburgh lost to Cincinnati 31 to 10. Uh, just like last week, I'm just going to state the games that are kind of surprising. Utah barely will beat Utah State by two touchdowns. Temple beats Maryland in overtime 24-17. USC blows out Syracuse 15-14. This is a shocker right here. Central Florida beats Ohio State 27-20. It's a shocker. Minnesota barely gets past FCS. Kentucky beats Kent State 22-19, a very close game. Kansas beats Rice 34-21. Iowa State blows out, uh, I mean, Iowa blows out Iowa State 38-14. North Texas barely gets past FCS 28-24. A lot of FCS schools surprise teams in real life in week one, so... Uh, yeah, FCS beats Texas San Antonio, 28-21. Surprising. Texas Tech beats Texas State, 41-21, even though Texas State did beat Houston last week. Uh, Bob, good bit. Ole Miss barely gets past UTEP, 17-16. Um, Notre Dame shuts out Purdue, 27-0. Mississippi State beats Auburn, 24-14. Kansas State beats Miami, 42-28. Ball State upsets Clemson 33 to 24. Wow. Cal barely gets past FCS 23-17. Um, moving on. Georgia beats Missouri 38-31. That'll be a fun game to watch. Virginia beats Penn State 28-14. That's expected. NC State beats Connecticut 35-21. UCLA, wow, beats Nebraska 29-16. That might actually happen because Rex Burkhead is hurt, so that'll be interesting. Michigan meets Air Force 24-20, close game. Miami of Ohio scores 84 points in a sim game against FCS. Wow. Stanford beats Duke 45-13. That'll be a fun game to watch. Stanford almost got beat by San Jose State. Nevada beats South Florida 35-27. Um... North Carolina beats Wake Forest 28-17. Virginia Tech shuts out FCS. South Carolina shuts out ECU 37-0. North Northwestern gets another one-point victory and beats Vanderbilt 31-30. Troy beats Louisiana Lafayette. Tulsa barely beats Tulane. Arizona State beats Illinois 30 to 14. Texas A&M beats Florida 28-10. This would not surprise me at all. Michigan State beats Central Michigan 21-7. Oklahoma beats FCS 70 to nothing. LSU beats Washington 22 to 14. Um, Oklahoma State barely edges out Arizona 37-34. San Diego State beats Army. Wisconsin beats Oregon State 35-14. They really struggled last week against. More than Iowa. Oregon beats Fresno State by 13. And that is it, guys. I'm going to show you the players of the week from week two. And then I'll show you the Heisman watch. Week two players of the week were corner Mark Anthony from uh, Cal. He, he had three interceptions against FCS. And then Jeff Toult, quarterback from Washington State, had 358 yards through the air. 11 carries, 57 yards, and accounted for 7 total touchdowns. It'll win against FCS Northwest, 59-14. to Last thing, to show you the Heisman watch, and you got Matt Barkley, Monte Ball, Tarian Matthew, who I'm 
I could didn't have any rosters to take him out of the game, so that's that. Stephon Taylor from Sanford and Nar Robinson from Michigan. So that's it, guys. Be looking forward tomorrow or later in the afternoon, rather, for my real college football predictions for week two. And I'll put a link somewhere on the screen when I make that video. So I'll see you guys later. And as always, roll time, go socks, go types. See you. Have a great day and be sure to subscribe. Bye.